Caroline Wozniacki, former world number one tennis star, announces comeback to sport. Former world number one Caroline Wozniacki has announced a return to tennis three years after retiring. The Dane walked away from the sport in January 2020 to start a family with former NBA star David Lee. The now mother of two had enjoyed a trophy laden career, winning the 2018 Australian Open among 30 WTA tour level titles. Success that saw her top the rankings for a total of 71 weeks. Wozniacki will dust off her racket and pair of sneakers ready for the 2023 US Open having been handed a wild card for the event which kicks off on the 28th of August. The 32-year-old also plans to compete at the Australian Open and Paris Olympics next year. Breaking. The Ashes 2023. Just stop oil protesters invade Lord's Test Match. Hundreds arrested in night of rare violence as French riots rage on. Three kidnap arrests over schoolgirl, 13, missing for days. Government plan to send asylum seekers to Rwanda ruled unlawful. Madonna postpones world tour after being hospitalized with infection. Investigation launched to look into 999 calls failure by BT. People. Caroline Wozniacki, former world number one tennis star announces comeback to sport. The Dane retired in 2020 to start a family with former NBA player David Lee, but has decided to return after having two children. Ethan Evans. By Ethan Evans. Published 30 June 2023, 8.07 British Summer Time. Former world number one Caroline Wozniacki has announced a return to tennis three years after retiring. The Dane walked away from the sport in January 2020 to start a family with former NBA star David Lee. The now mother of two had enjoyed a trophy-laden career, winning the 2018 Australian Open among 30 WTA tour-level titles. Success that saw her top the rankings for a total of 71 weeks. Advertisement. Wozniacki will dust off her racket and pair of sneakers ready for the 2023 US Open having been handed a wild card for the event which kicks off on the 28th of August. The 32-year-old also plans to compete at the Australian Open and Paris Olympics next year. Speaking about her triumphant tennis comeback to Vogue, Wozniacki said, Am I nervous? Not really, Wozniacki said. I'm coming back to something I love. Can I win the US Open? I think so. Can I win the Australian Open? I think so. That's why I'm doing this. And I guess we'll see what happens. If I didn't believe in myself, I wouldn't be doing this. I'm too competitive to just show up and not feel like I'm going to be one of the best players out there. She also spoke of how Serena Williams inspired her to make a return, with the 23-time Grand Slam winner giving birth to daughter Olympia in 2017 and coming back to reach the finals of Wimbledon and the US Open in both 2018 and 2019. The American then retired from tennis once and for all in Queens, New York last year. Wozniacki added, Serena and I had dinner a few weeks ago and when I told her my plan she just said, wow, good for you. I'm going to cheer you on every step of the way and if you ever need anything, I'm here. She's always been there for me. Serena doesn't get nearly enough credit for getting to so many Grand Slam finals after having Olympia. She paved the way for so many of us, she showed us that anything is possible. Williams was one of the first to react to Wozniacki announcing her comeback, posting on Instagram, literally can't wait. So glad I don't have to be silent about this anymore. Wozniacki is currently married to former NBA basketball player David Lee and the couple welcomed daughter Olivia in June 2021 and son James in October 2022. In a statement on Twitter, the tennis superstar said, I became a mother and now have two beautiful children I am so grateful for, but I still have goals I want to accomplish. We decided as a family it's time. I'm coming back to play and I can't wait. I want to show my kids you can pursue your dreams no matter your age or role. How long will I be able to play at my highest level? A year? Two years? Three years? I don't know, but I know that five years from now, when the kids are in school, it will be too late.